Good afternoon. Welcome back to Technical Analysis on Commodities. We'll be looking at natural gas, UNG, US dollar, oil, gold, and silver. We'll be looking at their support and resistance levels and as well as what the current trend is and where price will likely head into later this week. All right, let's get started with net gas first, NG on the eight hour time frame. And on the BADJ chart, it means you click this on the bottom right corner so you don't get the gaps on your chart for the contracts. And let's take a look. So I've been talking about this eight hour EMA 12 as resistance, as full bear control. So nothing changed so far. You just go to your EMA 12, type it in, you can put any color you want. And you get a line and you can just use it as a guide. Sometimes it doesn't follow exactly, sometimes it does. So when it does, you can use it as, um, you don't want to trade off of it, but you want to have more confluence of signals. So for example, you have an eight hour downtrend while it's rejecting from the eight hour EMA 12, then that's something you can trade out of. So currently you can see rejection there, rejection there, rejection here, another rejection right there, and another rejection right there. So bears are pretty much just in absolute full control. Um, not just because of the EMAs, we're in a daily downtrend, weekly downtrend, monthly downtrend, everything downtrend at this given moment. And yeah, uh, pretty much you could try, bulls try to nail the bottom here because you can see this bottom is pretty much this. Um, 52 week low on in April. And it makes sense, right? After a 30% drop, you know, bulls wants at least an attempt pretty much at the last level of support. So it made sense that we bounced there. You know, we cool the RSI off as a 7.5% bounce, even though it looked like it was nothing, but 7.5% bounce is quite big. So we cool all the uh, oscillators and indicators off uh, for the RSI after being oversold. And now we're back to this spot again, but now you guys can see it on the top right corner here, all the RSIs, five minute, 15 minute, one hour, four hour, daily, weekly, Wait, there we go. Is not oversold at all. Wait, none of them is below 30. So this technically could still go lower. Um, you don't have that, um, what do you call it? Conviction of that we might get a bounce soon because everything was oversold, right? You got that backup on and you went way over here. Now we don't have that uh, here. Um, so this could just as easily make another leg down. But at this given moment, um, we don't want to be guessing. So let's take a look. So bulls kind of held it. Just played a tiny bit of defense, right? They, you know, they, they kind of not let the bears get through it, but, but with zero offense. So if bulls don't place some offense, you know, next thing you know, there could just be a bear flag. And uh, next thing we know, we break that support. And if we break that support, there's going to be more bear, bear volume coming in after that. So we'll pretty much key watch tomorrow. Bulls need to show up exactly at the spot. Otherwise, um, it's gonna get a bear break. The other scenario is that we can get a bear break as a fake out and then lack follow through and then we V-shape. So you'll make a lower wick on a daily time frame, and that would be like a bull's last hope pretty much um, as a fake out and then come back, pass back above it. Um, so those are two scenarios that could happen. Um, you know, bulls play defense here, we go or break down, pass back above, and that'll be it, the bull scenario. But for bear scenario, as long as it keeps trending down, it's gonna keep going on the AR you mean 12. You know, we get a bear break, and then next thing you know, we just have a slight bounce, and then we trend down again on the EMA. That's just gonna keep continue until probably we get oversold on probably the daily or something um, for a potential bounce. But as of now, no signs of that yet. UNG, same thing, we're coming back down to the structure. Um, if that gas breaks that low, we're probably going to come down to test closer to probably around this 14.8 zone. Let's take a look. Yeah, I want to say point say. Yeah, so we'll see if uh, bulls show up tomorrow. If not, then we're probably going to head down to this $14 zone here. Where there was a lot of volumes. But um, yeah. You know, so far kind of holding, you know, we're almost, we're almost there, but not, we got about 8% do we have, let's see. Yeah, so we drop, let's go, wait, let's go back to that. We drop. 
yeah, 0.86% away from that, this higher 52 week low. So we'll see. I mean, we, we, we are currently holding uh, 2.27 for at this moment. Um, see if we get a bounce tomorrow. All right, if you guys learn anything, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys want more strategies or learn how to trade better or have a trading plan or how to use your stop losses or correct your habits or make any of that, go to my Patreon link in the YouTube comments below and you have more information there. All right, let's continue with the dollar. Dollar just making a perfect equilibrium. You can't get more perfect than this. You know, we've been talking about this for months. And big move up, big move down, big move up, big move down, big move up. Doesn't make a new high, right? You can see this high is lower than this high, so it's still in equilibrium. Guess what? We didn't make a new low. Literally bounced right before we even got to that low right here in this um, tightening range. So probably, you know, we'll get a weak bounce here. It depends um, because we got a good CPI today. And um, yeah, it really depends to see where it goes. Whenever it decides to break, it will break soon. But we still probably got till like at least end of July, you know, until the next FOMC meeting. But the first rate cut that's priced in is in September. So we'll see when it wants to break. It will definitely break out of this range. And the oil. So well, we bounce off of that um, prior Resistance now acting as support. Let's go to the daily chart. So keeping things things simple. So pretty much higher resistance goes all the way back here. Resistance, 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 and so we broke above it. over here on the Friday. And now it's just kind of back testing and bounce off it pretty much. So prior resistance, break above resistance. Now it's gonna act as support. That's what the bulls wanna see. And we bounce off of it. Doesn't mean we're gonna go all the way, you know, shoot up here just cause we bounce off of it. It's just that initially bulls are playing defense here. And let's see if um, their next task is to get up to this prior high and to break that so we can break this. Um, Supply here. This is where it rejected from, right? You can see we never got over this high, and then we sold off here. So that's the bear showing that they want to sell um, from this supply. But now bulls playing defense at this support zone, and now they want to try to get back up there again. Ideally, they want to break above it, but uh, we'll have to see. So far, close the half of day, so looking good. But let's see if they can take it up all the way back up here. And gold. Nice move here. Um, bull break this is what we're looking at here. Bull break out of here. Slight pullback to the EMAs. Continuation. So that's good. That is a daily uptrend confirmed. And uh, now we're just looking to see if um, bulls can break out of this to highs to make an all time high. So if they can break this, then they'll be looking to go to the test the all time highs. Let's see if it looks like a head and shoulders on the weekly or not. On the weekly, yeah, it's actually pretty clear on the weekly. Um, I mean, it's a little bit unclear here because this is the left shoulder. This is the head. You could have called this a right shoulder. I'm not confirmed, but now you can say this is the right shoulder, right? which is perfectly aligning with this top, with the left shoulder top. So we'll see. So pretty much bulls want to negate this and break the left shoulder is top first, and then test the, the head. Then they'll negate the, um, this pattern. But um, head and shoulder just uptrend into a downtrend, the psychology of it. So I have the picture perfect. Just know that it's an uptrend into a downtrend. All right, silver. Silver so broke out of this as well that we were looking at. See six rejections here. Three rejects, three bounces here, and finally broke out of it as well. And it's falling gold. It's a little bit weaker on today's bounce compared to gold, but it's because it has more supply overhead at this moment. You can see we have this, this, and this versus gold. It just has pretty much this and getting close to this. But yeah, it's a little bit more supply here. Um, that's why. But if um, gold negates that head and shoulders and head to all time highs, then silver will likely test this high as well. So we'll see if we can break that. 
the same time. All right, that's like all for you guys. If you guys got any questions, for the comment below. And I'll see you guys probably Saturday for more updates. And have a great rest of you guys' week.